journey with me to an island, remote, rugged, and steeped in natural wonder, where humpback whales feed and the ocean hums, where icebergs are born and black waters mirror the perfect sunset sky. This is Greenland. With a population of roughly 56,000 people, Greenland is the least densely populated region in the world. Greenland is also home to the second largest ice sheet in the world, which covers approximately 80% of the land and holds 7% of the world's fresh water. Taking in Greenland's jaw-dropping frozen world, from the two mile thick ice cap to the glacier fed fjords, it's hard to imagine that all that ice could one day disappear. With the warming climate, ice has been melting five times faster in Greenland over the last 20 years, causing radical shifts in Greenland's fragile ecosystems and a ripple effect that can be felt across the Atlantic. While ice plays a major role in sea levels rising or falling, it's equally as vital for the health and survival of all Arctic inhabitants. As ice breaks away from the glacier, tiny dust and nutrient particles slowly leach into the ocean as it melts. This release of nutrients fuels the growth of tiny microscopic phytoplankton. The spike in this microscopic green soup times perfectly the spawning and birth of its predator, krill. These tiny shrimp commandeer the waters off Greenland in summer, making up the largest biomass of any animal on the planet, and with it, sounding a dinner bell that resounds throughout the Atlantic Ocean. Species like the fin whale, baleen, humpback, pilot, and blue whales flock to these waters to feast, followed by massive schools of kaplan and halibut. With warmer temperatures and a drastic reduction in sea ice, warmer water fish species and historic numbers of humpbacks, pilots, and killer whales have made their way into Greenland's fjords in search of food. This rapid influx of predators has not only pushed the colder water inhabitants, like narwhals and walruses, further north, but has put even more pressure on less mobile species like krill. With the new pace of climate change, the Arctic Ocean and places like Greenland could record in my lifetime the first summer without ice. And without ice, there would be no food for the krill. Without krill, we would not only suffer the loss of fish, whales, dolphins, and seals, but we would lose a vital climate stabilizer. As krill eat and digest the tiny bodies of carbon-based shells and skeletons of its prey, they excrete the carbon remnants to the ocean floor creating one of the biggest carbon sinks on the planet. It's crazy to think that a tiny shrimp could hold the key to so many animals' futures, and that ice was even more important to not only Greenland's ecosystem, but all who depend on it. Whether it was the dwindling number of sled dogs that once howled and barked 5,000 strong in the town of Lulisat, or the countless abandoned houses, even a snowy blizzard rearing its angry head in summer, or the constant boom sound of ice breaking and cracking all around. Everything was a constant reminder of how fragile our way of life is on this planet, and just how much of an impact it can have on the world around us. It's up to us to decide what that impact will be. If you want to learn more on how you can make positive impacts and reduce your carbon footprint, check out these websites below.